Hi, Gloria. Welcome to CC Mason IB World School. Good morning, Abby. I'm so excited to be here. The campus looks phenomenal. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited that you're here too. We can't wait to highlight all the amazing learning that's happening at CC Mason and share it with you. So as an IB campus, we write our own units of inquiry. So what we'll see in this fifth grade classroom is their um, poetry unit, which is one of our district curricular units, um, tied to the IB central idea. That's wonderful. I'm excited to see that in action. Savannah, what are you working on? Some poems. You're, are you writing a poem or reading a poem? Uh, reading and uh, answering questions about it. Ms. Diamond, can you explain to us a little bit about your unit of inquiry and the central idea for this unit of inquiry? So our central idea is knowledge influences design. And so we are learning poetry in this nine weeks. So we thought what a great idea to really think about poetry through the lens of knowledge influencing the design of poetry. As we are exploring different poems, then they get a chance to mimic the design of the poem and put in their passions and knowledge about what they want to do, but then they're getting that inspiration from the different famous poems that they're exploring as well. But then they get a chance to write poetry based on their passions and knowledge. I have Edith and Shreya here, and I would love these ladies to tell us how has CC Mason empowered you to take action with your learning. Um, so what happens? Um, so what I do is like um, it helps me. Like if someone is like crying or something, I say, "Hey, um, are you okay? Do you need any help?" And um, I feel CC Mason is a very good school because I feel like there's a lot of fun. You can also go to YMCA and it's fun. That's awesome. So it's connected you with a, a nice friend group. That's awesome. How about you, Edith? Um, my favorite part is probably um, science, like subjects. Awesome. What do you like about science? What's your favorite thing that you've done in science? Um, I love doing like where we power light bulbs. I love doing that. So all the hands-on getting to touch stuff and create and build stuff. We're here in third grade and Miss Croft's class has been utilizing a technique where they use a focus phrase and then generate questions. The whole idea is to get our kids asking more questions about topics. And then what they do from there is they decide and discuss is this an open or a closed question? What's the statement that you are discovering and asking your questions about? Is it that question up there? Um, yeah. Will you read it for me? The Goldilocks zone is the only area for our solar system that can support life. What is this that you're working on right here? You have to write down uh, the, uh, a bunch of questions about the focus phrase and write them down. We can't answer them or uh, do comment about them. All right, Kara, can you please describe to us uh, the strength of our community and how we're able to partner to do big things for CC Mason? I would say that the strength of our community is in their investment in the school and in our children. When we had a flood in this very library a couple of years ago, our community came together to raise $14,000 to replace some of the furniture that had been destroyed and to help to replace some of the books that had been destroyed. This space looks amazing. Tell me about this, this space. How did it come to be? So this is the result of the 14000 that our community helped us raise as a result of the ice storm and it is um, an effort to build community spaces for our students. And so flexible seating options and then also an extension of that classroom. So small groups can come in here, our literacy partners can have a spot to read, I can meet with kids here. I love it. Just so much space for community building in at all levels. Thank you. It's beautiful.